Hello, Barrett Ersick here from Holganics here to talk to you today about pre-emergence. It's uh, spring's right around the corner and everybody should be thinking about putting down uh, pre-emergent crabgrass control. And uh, certainly we want to get that down before the crabgrass germinates. That's after all why it's called pre-emergent. It's before the crabgrass plant emerges. Best way to control crabgrass is to stop the seeds from ever germinating. You have a couple of options uh, to use effective uh, pre-emergence these days. Um, one option that's real popular is a product called Dimension, and uh, that works very well. The, one, some of the nice parts about Dimension um, are that it uh, doesn't have a yellow uh, staining effect and it can have some post-emergent uh, capabilities to it. So a lot of guys like to use Dimension for that reason. Uh, the other option that you might have is Prodiamine, which is the active ingredient in Barricade or Cavalcade. And uh, from my perspective, uh, Prodiamine gives you a longer window and I think ultimately gives you better control if you get it down in time uh, when compared to Dimension. It does have a slight yellow uh, look to it, uh, but these days the Prodiamine technologies that they're using uh, don't stain uh, like they did in the old days. So you want to look at Dimension uh, if you're really worried about post-emergent control, and, and quite frankly it's a very slight post-emergent control because it only controls crabgrass in a very early state. Uh, but look at the Prodiamine or the Barricade Cavalcade if you're looking to um, get a longer window and if you can get it down before the crabgrass seed germinates. Um, now at the end of the day, whether you're using Prodiamine or Dimension, the way crabgrass control works is you want to think of it as a blanket over top of your soil. And if, as long as you have this blanket with no holes in it, it's very difficult for the crabgrass seeds to germinate and, and, um, and give you a problem. But if you get a hole in the blanket to where the crabgrass seed can pop through and germinate, that's how, that's how we get breakthrough. Now, why do you get holes in your blanket? Well, a couple of different ways. One would be because you're doing um, an application that might be too thin. You're not putting down enough material. As a result, you get a very thin blanket, and a thin blanket will wear out or break easier. Another reason you might get a hole in the blanket is if you have your zero-turn mower uh, turn in the exact same place every time, and it ends up tearing that blanket and putting a hole in it. Uh, weed whackers are the worst. When the uh, weed whackers burn the edges of the uh, grass on the sidewalks in the street, That'll give you a hole in your blanket, and often you see crabgrass germinate in these areas. Um, a, thicker, a thicker blanket will break uh, less, so if, that's why heavier rates work better than, than lighter rates of pre-emergence. One of the ways to make your crabgrass barrier work more effectively, especially when we're thinking about prodiamine, is to combine it uh, with some uh, uh, gluten sources. And Holganics has a natural gluten source that when combined with the prodiamine actually makes the prodiamine blanket more elastic. It gives it a more elastic um, setting. And if you have a more elastic blanket, think about it, a hard, stiff blanket will break and, and have breakthrough easier. A rubberized blanket will give and take easier and as a result it won't break as much. We'll have less breakthrough. So that's why using a product like Holganics, if you can tank mix that in conjunction with uh, your prodiamine, you'll get a better, longer lasting control. You can even look at potentially using lower rates. Um, we have prodiamine uh, in a granular format with Holganics, and we can also tank mix prodiamine and we get a similar effect. Now that brings us up to another question. Do I use liquid pre-emergence or granular pre-emergence? At the end of the day, I believe if you have the capability of using liquid pre-emergence, I think you'll get better control. You get a faster setup in the soil, that blanket takes, takes hold faster. In addition, um, if you think about that blanket, when we do granular, we're relying on those prills to melt. And if they melt out, you know, they'll, if they only touch each other, we'll get a complete blanket. But if they, you know, those prills go down in a shotgun effect, if it's not quite evenly distributed, you may not get complete control. So that's why when you do granular, sometimes you want to do two applications or a split app. With a liquid application, you know, you can get away with a single application a lot easier. Also, with a liquid application, you're going to be able to get some of those tight areas that you can't get with a granular as easily. Uh, you know, the worst spot is, you know, the place between the sidewalk and the street. You got maybe two feet of grass going down through the subdivision. How do you possibly get, you know, good crabgrass control in a space like that with a granular spreader, you know, where it's going to give you an eight, eight or 12 foot application? Liquid, you can get it exactly where you want it to be. You can even do a little extra on the uh, edges if you need to. Um, so at the end of the day, dimension, prodiamine, key is get it down before they germinate. Um, get it down good and early and uh, make sure you're using the right rates. Use Holganics in combination with Prodiamine, not with Dimension, and will actually improve the effectiveness of that crabgrass barrier. So that concludes my tip for uh, this month. 
and uh, tune in uh, in the next couple weeks and we'll be talking to you about uh, some exciting spring activities that are happening at that time of the year. Thanks and uh, talk to you later.